Welcome back again, guys. Just wanted to go over another sharp pattern. Um, change the chart to USDJPY. Um, again, um, understanding extension patterns and so forth. Wanted to show you um, just looking at a just a blank chart itself. I do have some um, EMAs and things like that on here, but as far as um, there's no support and resistance as well. But I did see something that um, caught my eye and the way that I actually look at the charts and so forth. So I'll do I see this I see this huge move downwards, but as you can see, you know, when price stalls out here, it, it does a nice retest. It does a nice retest, but then it breaks it. So that's giving me it just kind of alerts me to possibility of, of uh, a, a pattern. Um, a harmonic pattern and so what I would do is again take my um, Fibonacci tool and I just go from X to A this is where it ends here so I have my X to A I have my B now it's close to 50 so you know because it had broke above my 382 and usually when it's just through testing the level of resistance the next candle would form a bearish candle and come back down but since it actually stayed above the 382, it, it formed another candle, another bullish candle. And then it made a double top. And it's quite close to my 50%. I would count that as a 50% instead of a 382. And then as you see, when price came down, it stalled out at the 113. So remember what I said that, you know, you have a 50% B retracement and you have a 113 or 1618. So I have my 113. And now let's see where price is actually, um, going I'm looking for 886 or a 113 so price comes all the way up from the 113 comes up 382 50 percent 61.8 78.6 886 and what do we see at the 886 we actually see it come down so like okay well let's see if it actually Hit our 50% mark. So we're looking for a C to D. Let's do one with Fibonacci. C to D. Okay. So, actually, did I do the right? X, A, B, C. Yeah, C to D. C to D. And this takes some um, practice. To get used to um, what's actually going on and how to measure the market and so forth. So here's my C. I put it on the Fibonacci to my D86, and you notice it didn't even come down to the 382. Now don't forget about the 50 percent. It didn't come down to the 382. It came down and then continued up. But notice where price actually stopped at. Price actually went straight up to the 113. And this is what I want you to see. They actually stalled out at the 113, and then the drop was significant. So now if I do my C to D, okay, let's just remove this here. We see price came down to 382 and the 50%. So this is a valid completion of the sharp pattern. You see how I just did that? I just opened up the chart. Didn't see it before. But let's just say none of this was here when I saw this. Let's say, you know, we didn't have all of this. We didn't have the, oh, this right here. You just happened to come on to the chart and see this big move here. Okay, you see it's starting to come up. Let's see, let's see we didn't have that. It's starting to come up. But you notice there's a break. So the question is, okay, you start measuring out. And then if you had gotten in somewhere around here, you could have rolled it all the way up at least to the 886. And then if you're looking at price action and seeing, you know, we're not even coming down to our first take profit, not even the 382, most likely we're going for the 886. I mean the 113, I'm sorry. And that's exactly what happened. And then price came down. 
and gave us a little take profits, and then continued back on its uprise. And that is how you identify our markets. Right there. And that's what it would look like. That's your short pattern. As you can see, you have the actual extension here. Okay? So I hope that helped out a little bit more. Second video on the shark. Any questions, feel free to hit me up.